Uh, hi there, it's Bogdan Jordan here and I'm just about to release the first uh, trailer of Sherwood book which is my first like serious book. I released all, uh, already like short story that is part of an anthology and like I feel it wasn't quite as emotionally exhausting because <laughs> I was just following what the other writers told me to do such as uh, I, I met the deadlines, sent the uh, files for them to look through and so like it wasn't like as personal kind of. On Friday I was going through the formatting actually so like the edits were all done and like I was just checking different formatting programs only the free ones because I'm not going to spend my on my first book <laughs> so I checked Re Ritzy because it worked well with the, the short story, like it was like three years ago or something. But it's changed and it's so complicated right now and it, I just didn't like it at all. Then I went to the Amazon uh, Kindle Create, maybe? Whatever the program is, the, the Amazon's one. And it just looks so old okay I, I made it to work but like they only have like four different types that you can make the book look like so then i went to the draft to the digital uh website and uh when you upload the uh, document then they let you set up the epub file and it's pretty and you can put like different designs around the chapter titles and everything but it kept messing up with the pictures because I, I'm putting the illustrations in the book so I couldn't make it not put the like tiny line of the picture on the next page and no matter what I did it stayed there so I went back to the Amazon uh, program and there at least it kept the pictures in the right places <laughs> So I made the file with the Amazon program uh, for the ebook. I, I could upload the same file as uh, for paperback, but it, I, I couldn't actually see how it looks like as a paperback, how many pages are, are there and uh, how it's set up within it. I, I was guessing it would be like I set it up, but I think it squeeze the pages of it like so probably it was like really small font that would be okay for a novel but i wanted a bigger font because children of shadow is meant for kids that don't really didn't really get into reading yet so like it should be the easiest they can get into it like maybe even kids for, with dyslexia it should be easy and fun to read and tiny fonts don't really make it fun. So I went back to LibreOffice and I formatted in the LibreOffice and turned this into a PDF and I'm finally happy. <laughs> but when I was doing that, like I kind of realized finally that this is the last time I'm making changes be before publication and it scared me so bad. I, I, I had really well, maybe I shouldn't really publish it yet. Maybe I, I will uh, have another round of edits. Maybe I will uh, get more people to see it, uh, get more beta readers, or uh, get another editing pass. And like, I kind of knew that I was just scared to put it out there. Yes, this is my best work right now. Books are really personal. Like, it's not exactly like we are in the books or something but like part of us is like the type of books you write the type of characters you write and it's really personal to just show it to people and kind of let them judge part of your soul <laughs> i didn't think i would feel it like that because i'm always thinking about myself i'm more of a filmmaker than writer and that i'm just writing for fun and I'm publishing because I finished something. I am a little bit changing my mindset about that because I got to the point where I have too many works in progress to keep doing that. It's stressing me out as that I have so many unfinished books because I just start whenever I want. I think it helped me a lot to have this many books started 
before I published the first one. I definitely improved during the few years that it took me. But it's just starting to the point where it's just insane and I just need to start publishing the books. <laughs> so I sat back down and as I was formatting and think and stressing out more like than thinking through really that it's not good enough or something like I just kept getting caught up in the uh, scenes and like I really enjoyed this book. So after a few times that I real realized that I'm just going back and really having fun reading my own book that I already read like 20 times because <laughs> that's how many times you read when you're writing and you have to go back and figure out what, uh, if you didn't miss anything and if you uh, set up the plot points properly. Uh, I'm a punter, so like I am not plotting. Like I kind of know where it's going but times where I tried plotting didn't come out really well. I will make another video about that attempt. So I realized that I love this book and that I would absolutely love to find it when I was a kid. I didn't, so I wrote it now. For the people that enjoy the same things I, that I do, it will be absolute blast, even if maybe I made a grammar mistake here or there, or I fought in Polish when I was writing in English, which is a big problem for me. And I asked my writer friends to just point it out to me because I don't think any language is very logical, but especially when you're thinking in one language, kind of sentence structure sometimes is just really silly looking in other language. So that's uh, kind of my biggest problem of writing in English. I calmed down <laughs> a, a bit about the story that yes, it's ready for publication now. If I will want to rewrite it in five or 10 years, I still can do it. I'm self-published, so I can do whatever I want. I moved on to making the cover, uh, like after that deciding that yes, I, I can publish right now, I really started, okay, I need to really finish it fast before I change my mind. <laughs> so I was kind of rushing through and like I still had like uh, adrenaline from the stressing out and like I couldn't draw. And like I made the uh, strokes and like they, they were all crooked because like I, I'm just all kind of still processing the, the the panic I had about the story but finally I made it and then life happens and I couldn't work on it for two days so I will be finishing up the cover today hopefully I will finish the cover today because it's not that much work left and then I can finally publish the book I will let you know as soon as I will and I will probably make a video when the paperwork comes. Okay, see you soon!